Alright guys, welcome back to the video. We're starting off in creative mode today. I'll be showing you some of the designs that I've made for uh, the automatic strainer and the kelp farm. So for the strainer, uh, two things. One, you can just take a hopper output, get all the stuff. And two, as you can see, just produces, drops it in here. And uh, second thing is that you can actually if I grab a strainer here, pop this in here. If you send a hopper input in the side of the strainer base, if I take this out, replaced immediately. So uh, that's a way we can probably automate the strainers. Um, if I'll take a look at the recipe here, um, it takes sticks, which we can get from wood, canvas, which is straw. This straw is a little bit tricky. You can get it um, from cutting grass with a knife or rice. So ideally for automation, it's going to be rice, but I, I don't think we're going to need to automate the strainers. They're kind of a slow use item um, and we could just pop maybe a hopper and just fill it up. Uh, next thing here is the kelp farm. So what I have here is just a piston, piece of redstone, observer. Um, it'll activate the, the uh, observer, send a redstone signal to the piston, break it, get pushed up by the water, over by the flow, and into a hopper, which goes into this chest. Uh, normally it doesn't go this fast, I have my tick speed up, but just for demonstration. So uh, this is kind of what I want to do for episode 2. Of course I'm going to make this bigger, uh, I have multiple uh, kelp like stalks, I'll have to do some testing, see if I can put them right next to each other. But um, for now, probably gonna start with the strainer, um, then go to kelp and we'll see what we do from there. So I was just watching one of Rocket's videos and apparently there was an update. So I spent a couple minutes updating, gives a new quest here. Um, not really sure if I wanna do that right now. Uh, my plan, uh, is still to make that kelp and, and stuff but I also learned can't believe it the portable storage interfaces I was looking at the uh, like what was that did they change it did they change the recipe because I thought there were two there was a brass one Okay, anyway, I mean, that's fine. Um, so I'm gonna be making one of these. They also changed this recipe. So, I mean, if that's two andesite, right there, two andesite already. So that's, you just need some more wood. So it's still more efficient to do this, uh, just by a little bit of wood, but it's not big a deal. Um, so now, now that I have this new knowledge, I'll probably uh, hook this up to a little chest system. Um, and then, um, and then I'll have my clay and kelp farm running smoothly. So I won't have, also I made two observers, I'm planning on having, um, Oh, I'm out of kelp. Planning on having a kind of row with an observer on each end. Also, I learned that the redstone, you get it from uh, crushing cinnabar. So that's just crushing right now. It takes a longer than iron or anything else like that. So it's just going to be a minute for that. Um, but so far, it's looking pretty good. The update did some very, very welcome changes. Um... Also, I think the, uh, these, cha yep, look at that. That is just beautiful. I hated the, the other crafting recipe. So, I'll probably make another saw with that, or, unless I do need that, uh, yeah, I still need that lead, so, once I get lead, I'll, uh, Fix this. Looks like it's dragging some 
stuff behind. But um, yeah, for now, I think progress is going to be a lot faster from now on. So I've built up a pretty good spot here. Um, the observer does need quartz, so I thought what better time than to go into the nether. Uh, so I got some obsidian from a ruined portal, and hopefully we don't spawn on some floating island. Okay. Oh my god, what? What? Oh, strider spawner. iron that's pretty good oh these discs you can sell for quite a lot I want this that's probably useful it's a nice sword it's a gas over there I need quartz though and I don't know these aren't hostile um, I don't even think if I attack them they're hostile there's no this is it there's no down okay it's not even a fortress. I got excited over nothing. So on the map, let me just add a waypoint. There's a fortress over here. And another one over here. Seems like it's all Soul Valley. So I've set up both of the farms here quite close. I'm probably gonna redo them for automation purposes, but just for now you can see I have a row of the kelp, two observers on either end. So let's say this one grew, you know, this one's growing. It'll put them all into this little channel and into this chest. So that's pretty set. Also this um, farm is doing pretty good. The sand can be washed for clay. So eventually I wanna get that going so I've taken down the tree farm it did pretty well got a couple stacks of wood which will hold me off until I uh, put it up again uh, still no kelp but you can see a lot of it has grown it's just these little end pieces I'm there might be something wrong with them so um, you know, let me just fix this real quick so I just moved the uh, all the stuff to the middle, the observers. You can see it's uh, back up. And I might actually just move this down here to stop the blocks. So this is also doing pretty well. You can see it's getting used. I have a couple extra strainers in there. So my plan is to have a kind of belt, you know, get the presses and the deployers with all the um, andesite and whatever on it. And then It'll just go into here as the kinetic mechanisms. So what that needs is oak slabs, which you can get from the saw blades, uh, the planks you can get from stripped oak logs, which you can get from a saw blade. So we're gonna need like three saw blades, probably have like a little offshoot to keep the wood. And on top of that, belts are another issue. So if you take rubber, which you get from resin, what you get from this machine so this machine is not too hard to make but um, I'm not really sure what this means uh, so I'll hook this up to a uh, uh, what you would call it a dynamo and we'll see what it does so here's the resin setup here you kind of just set it up next to a tree I put some bone meal in to make it go a little bit faster but once it gets up to a, a thousand millibuckets you can take it out Go over to your uh, compactor, put a basin under it, and just throw that resin inside. It'll compact it, and over here gives you four resin per bucket, or four rubber per bucket. So it's it's not vast by any means, but um, you don't even need the bone meal, and you could probably set up multiple of these. Uh, I just don't want to do that. I, I don't really want to use the iron for the buckets or anything, so. Um, but that is how you would make your rubber and I've already started to set up as you can see out here I've already started to set up this kind of assembly line this is where the kinetic mechanisms go as I said uh, you're gonna have the saw on this one and speaking of saw this is a pretty important thing that I want to get early on 
is the unbreakable saw. So this is just going to be really useful for um, not having to automate the saws, which you can see in here, they do want you to automate the saws, but I think I'm already at three gold. I could sell a couple more things and uh, I'd be up to uh, five gold in no time. So I think I'll actually do that. I was just buying some iron earlier just because it's a pain and I had a bunch of coins left over. So I'm going to get three gold or five gold. All right, so it's the next day and um, not feeling too well, but I did get some stuff done. So here you can see I'm putting in the foundations for the uh, kinetic machine automation. So I moved the tree farm over here. Um, and as you can see, it's not a very common looking farm. I put the devoyer on the back here just because if I put it um, on this block, it would go too far out and then the trees would start growing. They would, it's a whole issue. You want to make sure that your saws are able to reach all the trees. So you can see it's uh, going to cut it right there. And uh, also I didn't know this, but they added the, the uh, portable storage interfaces with the andesite in the update. So I wasn't going crazy, uh, but yeah, so it'll shoot the stuff out here. I haven't hooked it up to power yet, but uh, probably get like a bunch of water wheels and just hook them up like right here, I'm thinking. But it'll go this way, over here, get put into this chest, and it'll go through three saws. So uh, logs to stripped, stripped to planks, planks to, um, uh, planks to slabs, which go into here, and then the slabs will go out one by one and a site in both of these and then I'll put an unbreakable saw in there and then it'll just pop out the mechanism so that's a pretty simple farm as you can see I took out the kelp from this not too fast I'll probably build another replica over here not a replica but just a bigger version maybe even use glass instead um, and then of course I'll build like a bigger version of, of uh, this you can see I've already got this much stuff out of one strainer so, uh, yeah, we're not going to need to automate the strainers, at least for now. So, you can also wash the sand as well to get clay, so I'll be doing that as well. And then just the clay, kelp, and then I'll have a, an automatic furnace system. And then I'll have to actually get the andesite up here as well. But uh, right now, <clears throat> that's being done underground. I might want to get the... the uh, whatchamacallit, the bedrock. I think that's what I'm gonna try to get for that. But you can see I auto also automated resin, or rubber I mean. So I've got two of these uh, extractors here, and I just have a pump that's just a water reel back here powering this. It pumps it into the basin, and the press just uh, hits it when it has enough. So if I come over here, you can see I have bunch of rubber, a bunch of uh, cured rubber, and I have mechanical belts as well, so I'll probably go on a mining run, actually, because I don't have any more diamonds, I think I have one left, and I'm also going to need some iron as well, and also I'm going to need some uh, stuff to sell, because that bedrock is not cheap and right now I've been using a lot of my my stuff on iron which is not good I used a piece of my gold which I should not be doing but yeah for now um, that's I think that's all I did I didn't really change much else this took a while just because the uh, the voyeurs and the, like making those andesite machines by hand kind of takes a bit but yeah, if you want to make this, it's a pretty useful thing to make in your own world, just so you don't have to deal with the resin and the rubber and the buckets and everything like that. So I'm feeling a little sick today. Um, you might hear it in my voice, I'm sorry about that, but I just wanted to... I made a lot of updates, I didn't really want to record a clip, but um, I did do a ton, so I, I do want to update you guys on the progress. So what I've done is I've... I've just dismantled the kelp and uh, clay farm. Um, I've basically just gotten rid of it, replaced it with better versions. So 
if I come over here, the kelp farm, it made a, a radial windmill uh, kelp farm. So it'll go around, pick up the kelp like that. Um, there's also fish. A lot of them will die. Um, so I just have a lot of fish now, I guess. But it'll come around, deposit the kelp. Uh, I have a buffer chest um, just to keep some kelp. Uh, because the kelp is produced way faster than the clay, so you can see I have the, the algae whatever recipe in there. So, the clay part of it, I have two uh, strainers. I might actually put four in, because it is uh, really slow. But I might also want to automate the, the, the actual strainer part of it. Uh, but we'll see about that. But basically it'll create some sand or clay. Clay can't be washed, so it'll just go through as clay. The sand, can clay be washed? Am I wrong about that? I don't think it can be washed. Um, weird, uh, it, it has the particles, so I'm not sure. But we'll actually, let's see here. So this is a piece of clay that just came out as clay. So I think it's fine looks fine yeah so basically all the sand will get washed the clay will just pass through without changing it'll all turn into clay I have a buffer chest here which I don't really need right now but I have the mixer set up produce the algae I have this strip of lava burning thing I don't really know what to call it but it cr turns it into this um, the bricks the algal bricks which I have stopped here because I haven't set up the andesite yet I do have the andesite underground, but that is kind of a pain. I'm, I'm thinking I'll probably do a lot of mining, make enough money to get that bedrock, and then set up a, a system up here, uh, just so I don't have to deal with all that. But it'll come over here, uh, the algal bricks. It'll mix with the andesite that I'm producing, and then all the byproducts of the andesite uh, generator will be bulk smelted like this and then just sold because that is it's just completely useless for me so that's that's all i've done so far um i moved the tree farm i don't think i showed that so i moved the tree farm over here it's quite small no i did show that i did i actually i made more power generation that's what i did so i have 10 water wheels here just to supply the entire system not have to deal with anything i also made a wrench uh what else oh yeah this works um so if i i haven't hooked it up i i can turn this the other way but i'm having some issues with the with this here so if i throw a plank on here see so it goes through and it might no so yeah you see it produced this weird thing the door from X Caves Deco. It also produces a bunch of other random furniture. So I, I don't know what to do about that. But right now I'm just dealing with the uh, initial stages. I think that was probably the hardest part. It's really just the uh, andesite left. But if I put, if I manually put um, some slabs in here, you see it comes out. And I haven't hooked up this yet, of course. But you can see it places one. It'll go to the next one, places another, and the saw will finish it off. So then it'll just come into this chest, and uh, it's it's actually really uh, convenient for me. So I've done a bit more work here. Um, I, I uh, set up a lift here for all the generated cobble and andesite and whatever. Um, it's not fully complete. It's almost complete. I just need to do something with brass, which I did buy a little bit of, just so I can get those couple parts that I need. So what I've done here is the lift comes up, and the way that this works here is I have a, a pulse extender for about 30 seconds, which is the time it takes to get up from the bottom. And what happens is there's a comparator down there, and when it when the chest is full down there, It'll activate the pulse extender 30 seconds. This will turn on, uh, reversing it for 30 seconds. Comes up. Then this uh, comparator detects that 
the chest has objects in it, which further uh, activates this. So even once the pulse extender turns off, um, this is still activated, so it will stay up. And then once it is off, I mean, once all the items are unloaded, it'll turn off. This is also off by that time and it'll go back down. So it's done about one cycle. It, because we have andesite funnels, it's doing one object at a time, which is really slow, but we have to work with what we have. And over here, I set up the algal bricks. I put them into a, a mixer system to make the andesite. I uh, manually put some andesite on. I, I have all the different types of blocks and whatever. So goal right now is to get a smart shoot uh, I have a couple pieces of brass. Electron tubes are like kind of iffy, but everything except the molten iron we can get. And I've been meaning to get into Tinker's Construct, so I think I'll be doing that um, for now just while this is uh, doing its thing. So I've done a little bit more work. I've got the uh, a small little smeltery. I, I was going to make this kind of a farming pen, but... <clears throat> didn't really didn't really come out to be that so I just decided I would I'm gonna I w I'm gonna make this whole thing a smelter just a huge smelter I think that would be kind of cool um, but for now just got some iron in there I have the bucket and I was doing a little looking on the uh, No. The spout. That's what it is. <clears throat> so if I look at the spout, I got a hopper already. And this is is trouble. I already made one of these like sealed mechanism things, but you need rubber for that. <clears throat> and right now, my rubber production is really low. I already have a copper casing. Um, but I have... I need four more rubber, which is, it, it takes a while, I'm going to be honest. If I come over here, yeah, two rubber, it's not bad, but definitely not fast. So it's taken a while to get the rubber. I got the molten stuff. So I finally uh, gotten this thing over here to work. Um, it took a while. It had some issues. I just, some of the mechanics I didn't really understand, which wasted a lot of my time but if I come over here I'll start over here I think I think I added these um, in between the last time I also set up this system so all this excess wood and burnable stuff will be used to fuel the uh, therm or dynamo I forgot the name of it but it burns stuff and it will turn it into power which the trade station needs so what will happen is this will go through um, let me just hop over here and it'll come out on this side um, and go into the sterling dining well, that's the thing. I also have this down here is just a little filter oh I didn't even put in the filter yet forgot about that um, so yeah it'll burn all this flammable stuff powering the trade station uh, it will oh, I forgot to take this out um, and what will happen is it's a little jank but it works all the uh, the non andesite stuff it's gonna get funneled from here smelted along this tract put into these hoppers fill this chest up and I have this filter here uh, which filters on, uh, all of the... I, do I need this filter? I don't need this filter. Okay, I'm, I feel kind of dumb now. Problem I was having before was... Yeah, now it's all going through. Um, problem I was having before is if you don't have a chest over the smart shoots, it will actually just... Uh, It'll just not even give you an option for the the number, the amount of items you want going through. So I was having an issue with that, so I was doing all this sorting stuff, and I made multiple shoots, and I was doing all this crazy stuff. But um, in the end, it's just you need a chest over it. So what I did was 
um, if you just filter this to 64, it'll go in in stacks of 64. Uh, because if you had, like, let's say all this came through and there was one piece of gabbro, like before, um, like that was smelted and then it started smelting these, all of this came through, the gabbro was in there, didn't have 64, doesn't go through, holding everything up, it'll block it all up. So I needed some sort of system like this and this kind of works, uh, this chest will fill up, it'll only deposit in stacks of 64, which will then get sold. Um, and put into here. So you could see already three silver coins throughout the testing and whatever, but I suspect It will get much better Soon it'll just keep going um, I've had another shipment from the lift come up So I think I'll just save up for probably the unbreakable saw because the saw did break and I do want that to be back up and running so if I take a look in here you can see it's going slowly, but it'll get there eventually. It smelts it all down. Um, and you can see, even though this this is... So, without this system, this diorite would go in. 25 diorite doesn't... You need 64, you need a whole stack to get a silver. It'll clog it up. This granite, which um, you can see... We're going to get granite for... You know, I'll move it over here. Two more stacks. So, that'll get clogged up for stacks and stacks where it could be traded. So, just... A simple fix um, and what else I don't think anything else I'm not sure if I showed that that was just to uh, make the smart shoots but yeah the saw broke uh, there is a trade I should I, I'm not sure if I cut it out but um, there is a trade right here if you put five gold and a diamond saw you can uh, make an unbreakable saw so that'll be really useful here but yeah, so this took me a while. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't have taken as long. I made a bunch of just unnecessary things, but I can use them later. And uh, this Sterling Dynamo it doesn't stop if you don't use it. So it is wasting some power, but the, the wood farm just produces so much. It's just, it's eventually going to get clogged up and then cause issues. So I think that that little waste is going to be quite um, quite a good venting system for lack of a better term. Yeah, it's getting pretty spaghetti. But if I take a look in here, you can see it's backing up here because of the andesite, but every time the andesite comes in, it clears it out. So, I mean, we're not producing constantly um, a lot of backup just because the saw broke, but yeah, this is just wonderful here. And then I can eventually turn that, I'll probably upgrade the rubber system. I added one of these, another extractor. Um, so you can see three blocks of rubber that, you know, since the last time I picked it up. So it's doing work, but definitely going to have to speed that up because these special, I forgot the name of it. Uh, I know how to see them. These uh, sealed mechanisms are, take the, uh, the rubber and the kinetic mechanisms, so. A little iffy there, but we can, uh, we can automate it just like everything else. But I'd say this is a pretty big success. We finally, you know, got everything technically automated. I'm going to try to get that bedrock uh, when I have enough money. But all the excess is getting sold. Um, there's no kind of, there's no byproducts that are building up. Maybe the kelp, so I'm probably going to want to upgrade that. You can see I already started, but... Um, I'm, I'm probably going to try to automate those, those sifting filter things, but for now, I'm going to try to clean up my inventory, maybe put, maybe put, put a few more chests because it is filling up, but yeah, so it's been pretty good. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hopefully the series... I know it's not going to be very consistent, but I'll try to get at least one every week, at least. So stay tuned for those, and I hope you liked the video. Give me any feedback, go too fast, go too slow, less explanation, more explanation, uh, whatever you see throughout the series, whatever you want to see. Also, if you have any suggestions of what you want me to build, any tips, anything that I've done wrong or
video, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.